For over 30 years, Youngstown Jubilee Urban Development has been working to revitalize homes throughout the city. Now they're turning their focus to the former South High School on Market Street. The organization talked with WKBN Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford about their vision. My in-depth discussion today was with Dr. Philip Endler and Eric Holm. And the program we're going to be talking about is the Youngstown Jubilee Development Corporation. You are the president of the board. You're the director. What do you do? Why do you do it? And how do you do it? I pastor Christian Fellowship Tabernacle, my wife and I, for 27 years. We were given a house on East Evergreen, worst house in the neighborhood. And uh, we raised our kids there because we cleaned it up. Things began to evolve from that point. We were given houses. We were able to buy houses. We, ex we rehabbed 25 existing homes for first-time homeowners. Then in 1995, we started building new homes, 165 new homes for first-time homeowners. And we uh, had a last, in 2022, had accomplished our goal, and we had almost 200 people that were first-time homeowners. The program's been around for over 30 years. How long have you been involved, Eric? I've been involved over the last two years, and I've had an excitement to see the resurgence of Youngstown. So when I found out what Jubilee was doing, I was very excited to join the team and see the continued revitalization of the city, especially along the major corridors. What brought your eye towards South High? Uh, two things. The iconic nature of the building from its architecture, as well as the fact that there's such a huge uh, impact on the city through its alumni base over many, many generations. I just happen to be one. Right, exactly. And we see it really as a strategic asset to the city because it's right on the Market Street corridor. Uh, with that building coming back online, we see it will be a great anchor and catalyst for rejuvenation of the south side. So when you saw this building, did you have a vision in sight as to what you could see two years, five years, or ten years from now, and how would you get there? Sure. So um, we're looking at it as uh, continuing in the education field, perhaps even having a youth build program in the school, which would allow uh, students to learn how to build homes and maintain their homes as well as to um, have a good career in that, in that field. I know the building has had several occupancy, but from my past future, I remember shop being there, I remember a pool being there, mm -hmm. and I don't know what condition a lot of that is in, but it still had that capacity because that was during the period of time when you were either going to the college track where you were going to the job employment track. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of things going on in that building. I would love to see that happening again. It's an incredibly <laughs> great building. With uh, You walk in there and the grandeur of that building really is overpowering. And we're looking forward to the community being able to use the building again, including the 800-seat auditorium. That's beautiful, too, if it's still holding up. It is. It's actually in surprisingly good shape inside. Yes. And I thank you for joining us. When we continue this conversation, we're going to talk about the usage and how the community can also become a part of this. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.